Hello, and welcome to our Flip Classroom on One Step Equations. For seventh grader, this is a review, because you should have talked about One Step Equations in the sixth grade. For this lesson, you will need your Modeling Equations notes page, the One Step Equations with Algebra Tiles worksheet, the One Step Equations with Pattern Blocks worksheet, which should be on the back, and one set of algebra tiles and one set of pattern blocks. If you are completing this flip classroom at home, you may not have the algebra tiles and pattern blocks. Please look for the virtual manipulatives link in your teacher's Google Classroom. Here you may click on a picture of algebra tiles or pattern blocks to take you to a separate link with virtual manipulatives. Our objective today is to model and solve one-step equations using algebra tiles. So first, let's remember what those algebra tiles represent. The green bar represents positive x. Remember that x is a variable that we use quite often in math. The uh, red bar represents negative x. We use negative x a little bit in sixth grade, but you'll see that we're going to use negative x quite a bit in seventh. We know that the uh, yellow tile is going to be positive 1, and the red tile is going to be negative 1. On your notes page, please copy down the problem x plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, pause the video and use your algebra tiles to try to model x plus 2 is equal to 5. Unpause the video to see if your answer is correct. All right, let's see what x plus 2 equals 5 looks like. In order to model this, you will need one green algebra tile, two yellow chips on the left side of the equal sign, and five yellow chips on the right side of the equal sign. This is x plus 2 equals 5. Now, let's write this using our algebraic steps. We're literally going to write x plus 2 is equal to 5. We want to go ahead and start solving this equation. Remember to copy this down in um, on your notes page with your pencil. So we're using our algebra tiles, but don't forget to copy that down. Alrighty, so let's start solving this equation. In order to solve a one-step equation, you need to remember that you isolate the variable using inverse or opposite operations. In this case, we have x plus 2. The opposite of adding 2 is subtracting 2. So in order to model that, we're going to represent two red negative tiles on the left side of our equal sign and two red negative tiles on the right side of our equal sign. This represents subtracting 2 from each side. Remember, what you do on one side of the equal sign, you must do on the other. Let's represent this using our algebraic steps. We're going to show that we're going to subtract 2 from each side of our equal sign as well. Now, in order to isolate the variable, we will need to get rid of all zero pairs. So we're going to get rid of the positive and negative pairs that we have on the left side of the equal sign, and also the positive and negative pairs we have on the right side of the equal sign. Therefore, we're left with our answer. x is equal to positive 3. In order to check to see if our answer is correct, we can always substitute x for 3 to make our equation true. I know that 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, our answer is correct please make sure you have copied down all of this information on your notes page. Let's move on to our next set. Okay, in the next section, you're going to write down the problem. X minus 4 is equal to negative 3. Use your algebra tiles and try to model X minus 4 is equal to negative 3. 
pause the video and come back and see if you're correct. Alrighty, here is what x minus 4 equals negative 3 looks like. Here we have a green algebra tile and four red negative algebra tiles on the left side of our equal sign. On the right side, we have three red tiles. Here we have x minus 4 equals negative 3. Using our algebraic steps, we're going to write x minus 4 is equal to negative 3. In order to solve this type of equation, we know that we should isolate the variable using inverse or opposite operations. In this case, we're subtracting 4. So since we're subtracting 4, we want to do the opposite of that, which is to add 4. So we're going to add 4 algebra tiles, um, yellow algebra tiles, to each side. Once we do that, over here at our algebraic steps, we're going to show that we've added 4 to each side of the equal sign. Now, we want to isolate the variable, so we want to do that by removing all zero pairs. So in this case, we had four zero pairs on the left side and three zero pairs on the right side. Now we're left with our answer. X is equal to 1. We can check our answer by substituting x for 1. 1 plus negative 4 equals negative 3. So our equation is true. Please make sure you pause the video and write down all the steps and models for this note. All right, let's go to our next one. Write down the problem. 3x is equal to negative 9. Use your algebra tiles to try to model 3x is equal to negative 9. Pause the video and come back and see if you're correct. All right, let's model 3x is equal to negative 9. We will literally show 3x's because that says 3 multiply it by x, so that means I should have three of them. And on the other side of the equal sign, I would have nine, so we should have nine negatives. I had to fix that, sorry guys. So we should have nine negatives. So we have three x is equal to negative nine. We're gonna write that um, for our algebraic steps. And now we again know that our explanation in our step for solving one step equations is to isolate the variable using inverse or opposite operations. So in this case 3x represents multiplication and we want to do the inverse operation. Well the inverse operation of multiplication is division. We can represent division by grouping. So we're going to group each of these x's with some of the tiles on the right side. When we show our algebraic steps, we actually use division, um, the division bar, which is a fraction bar, in order to represent division. And so this means we're going to divide each side by 3. So when we do that, 3x divided by 3 just gives us x, and negative 9 divided by 3 gives us negative 3. Let's represent this with a model. We know that we can group them into three separate groups, and we know that 1x gives you 3 negatives. We can check this answer by substituting negative 3 for x. 3 times negative 3 gives us negative 9. Make sure you copy down this model on your notes page. Alrighty, now let's try some one-step equations with pattern blocks. Our objective is to model and solve one-step equations using pattern blocks. So we're going to use pattern blocks specifically when we have equations with fraction coefficients. The pattern blocks will represent the fractions and it'll help us be able to learn to solve those as well. Let's start with our first pattern block. This represents x. 
So we call this shape a hexagon, and that represents positive x. This trapezoid is half of this hexagon, and it represents one half x. This parallelogram is one third of the hexagon, and it represents one third x. And this triangle is one sixth of this hexagon, so it represents one sixth x. We can also use um, integer chips to represent positive one and negative one. So now that you know what each of these uh, represent, let's go ahead and model this equation. Go ahead and write down the problem, one half x equals two. Remember that this is going to be multiplication because you have a coefficient, which is a number next to the variable. And one half is our coefficient. So since we have a fraction coefficient, you're going to use those pattern blocks to model. So let's try to model this one together. I want to represent one half x. So I'm going to use a trapezoid. This trapezoid is half of x. And I'm saying that one half x is equal to two. Now, let's show that using the algebraic steps. We have one half x is equal to two. Now, the point of solving all equations is to isolate the variable using inverse operations. This should give us x. Currently, we just have half of an x. We want to know what one x is equal to. So if half of x is equal to two, what is one x equal to? We can show this by doing the inverse operation. So since we are multiplying by half, of, uh, by half we're going to do the inverse operation by dividing. When you divide, what you actually do is multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of one half is two. So I'm going to multiply each side by two. Once I do that, that is going to give me one X. So now, if you look at my model, I have two of those trapezoids. Those two trapezoids make an hexagon. And once I multiply both sides by two, that's going to give me one X is equal to four. To prove it, we can substitute X for four. One half of four is equal to two. Make sure you've written down the example of each of these um, on your notes page so you can complete the worksheets on your own. All right, so you need to complete the rest of these worksheets on your own. If you would like to make, um, if you would like to use notebook paper to model these equations, you can do so. Please make sure you model and solve these equations on your worksheet. Try them on your own and we'll review them the next time you're in class. Have a great day.